in our republic. But before I mention this person, I want to draw a distinction between the office of the deputy president and the person of the deputy president. Hello? According to our constitution, the office of the deputy president is meant to be the president workshop. It is meant to be the principal assistance office, meaning that all the heavy lifting is expected to occur here. Like Joshua in the Bible, the principal assistant is meant to be a problem solver to the president, and not a problem to the president. This office is meant to lighten the burden of the president and to ease the yoke he carries. It is meant to be a workshop where ideas are tested and innovations are incubated. It is also the president's last line of defense administratively. If office of the deputy president is a workshop, the person who holds this office must bear certain characteristics. This person can, cannot be a competitor to the president. They have to compliment the president. The person has to be a co-worker and a co-creator with the president. And following intense consultations, we have decided that the holder of this office has to be a woman. Hello? Hello? I will continue. After 60 years of independence, we cannot be the male domination. We cannot excuse the male domination of the executive. For the first time, in the history of our republic and on the seventh multi-party election, history is calling us to close the gender gap in our country. History is calling on us to reciprocate the struggles and fidelity of our women. History is calling on us to produce our first woman deputy president. Hello? Tafadali, 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 Kimia. Tafadali, Tafadali, Tafadali. Tafadali, Vijana. Vijana, hoi. Mamama, hi. Tulendalea. And I now want to describe to you the person. At the age of 24, at the age of 24, this woman was appointed a magistrate to adjudicate on matters of men. A few years later, she became the youngest woman to be elected a member of parliament in central Kenya. And she went on to serve in the capacity of, for 20 years. Of these 20 years, she was a cabinet minister for six years, serving in different portfolios. The woman we offer as the proposed deputy president is also known 
to have incredible credentials in the fight for our second liberation. In 1990, for instance, I was arrested and placed in detention without trial. At that time, very few lawyers were prepared to represent me. But this woman, then a young lawyer, led a team of 27 lawyers to defend my legal detention. When I moved a motion in Parliament to set up a select committee on constitutional reforms and was deserted by my colleagues in the opposition, only she and the late George Mosetti Anyona stood by me. This woman is a fighter and is not a quitter. This woman has a, a safe pair of hands seasoned by the struggle for our second liberation and service to the country in many capacities. This woman has a beautiful soul as exhibited by her love and passion for her children and grandchildren. This woman will be a great co-creator and will make a remarkable first deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. As a co-worker, I want her to finalize the unfinished business of making our constitution. And I want this done because when the late Mwai Kibaki and I pushed for the 2010 constitution, we admitted that it was a work in progress and it needed some further work. Because I am a man of my word, I will task her with the assignment of completing what we started. And I am persuaded that she has the right pair of hands to accomplish this task. My dear Kenyans, come at the hour, come at the lady, I have the great honor yes. to announce yes. that I have picked yes. as my running mate yes. and cabinet secretary for justice yes. and constitutional affairs yes. the Honorable yes. Martha Wangari Karua. Yes.